Hi everyone, I hope you have been well. It's been a while. We are starting off the vlog with a new tool I got for my iPad. I'm in the middle of two picture book jobs and wanted to upgrade my setup for better ergonomics. This easel gives me a more comfortable drawing experience and supports my wrist for more natural brush strokes. It allows for more fluid hand gestures too. Most importantly, it is saving me from neck pain since there are days I'm using the iPad for like 5 to 6 hours. I like that it has an opening for the power cord since it's great to keep it charging during long work sessions. The legs can be folded down so it's quite easy to carry too. Let's recap some adventures before we start painting. This is a brief record of the last bits of summer. to find a t-shirt for printing. Many years ago, I bought a secondhand t-shirt heat press and it has served me well. I used to sell lots of hand printed items back when I was still in school and my mom has worn my t-shirts throughout the years. This time I'm taking an illustration from my comic style and making a pear t-shirt. Grumpy Nat is anxious, stressed, and a little bit sulking. She finds comfort in hiding under a blanket with a weighted dog plush and two IKEA sharks. She is equipped for the battle to overcome her fears. Happy Nat is adventurous and playful. She is flying off to new experiences. I'm using an opaque transfer, which is kind of like a vinyl sticker on top of the t-shirt. I prefer this over the kind that seeps and dilutes the ink into the fabrics as I like the stronger, sharp colors here. Mom is helping me here. It's a two-person job and requires monitoring of temperature and time. Temperatures can reach up to 190 degrees Celsius. It's essentially a really hot and large iron plate. I 
also made some shark totes. I'm quite happy with the final results and it's been comfy to wear too. This time we are painting a quiet street I came across in Koenji, Tokyo. I'm using Arches 300 GSM hot press watercolor paper. I'm referring back to my old vacation photos and using the pencil as a ruler to guide my perspectives. I bought a watercolor crayon and wanted to try it out for the paving texture. It didn't turn out how I wanted at all because it was looking too rough and unfinished to me. I tried to dilute and remove it by wiping it down and then I painted over it with a thicker gouache while still preserving the crayon texture in the darker shadows. Despite the illustration being so detailed, I felt comfortable in experimenting with new mediums and I didn't feel the pressure of ruining it because I know that gouache or even acrylic gouache could easily cover it up. Nothing is truly irreversible and that's the confidence for me to experiment. I love using a fan bristle brush to create fluffy clouds. I tilt the brush to the side and move it in circular motions. Then I go back in with a round brush to fill in the gaps and smoothen out some textures. Thinking about my approach to drawing buildings, or realism in a sense, sometimes it's hard to get the exact perspective right. It's a picture I took myself so I could trace some key directional lines if I wanted to, but I opt to try to work it out myself on the paper. It's not a matter of feeling like I don't want to cheat or taking a shortcut. I think it's totally okay to manipulate your own references however you want because that is still your individual process. I like to add a bit of rawness to my illustrations by being somewhat inaccurate to life. I'm not aiming for realism because I want to convey how the environment felt to me through my unique way of drawing. At the same time, I feel that there is some leeway here because this is just personal work and I know when I have room to loosen up or have imperfections. Maybe my feelings about perspective in my art is it's okay to be inaccurate as long as it doesn't detract from the intent of the piece. Like would it be a distraction instead of enhancing the overall image. Of course there are times where you would want to experiment with perspective to create distortion effects too. So it's just a matter of knowing which approach to a take for your particular piece. That was a bit of rambling reflection, but anyways, here's the final result. We are wrapping things up and going to canoeing. It's been a year already since the last time we came. This year we have our own inflatable canoe, but I'm still a beginner and we tend to keep going around in circles. If anyone has tips on that, I would love to know. 
day we have lovely activities with Nat, who's doing most of the work right now. She is a very dedicated paddler while I aimlessly just look through a camera lens. And she paddles left. Here she is, hard at work. Very fascinating. months ahead for me but lots of exciting things are lined up and I can't wait to share with you in the next vlog so stay tuned and thank you for watching